WeAreProud.com. Kellyanne. Hey, thanks, Ashley. Just ahead, a new report reveals the mismanagement of small business loans. We'll tell you why the House Oversight Committee says the SBA failed to... Well, today, an advisory panel for the Food and Drug Administration cleared Moderna's COVID vaccine for children over six years of age. It was a unanimous decision from the advisory panel clearing that vaccine for kids between 6 and 17. The full FDA and CDC are expected to approve that. Currently, the Pfizer vaccine is the only one fully approved for those under 18. And FDA experts are expected to meet tomorrow to determine if shots from Pfizer's three-dose treatment will be safe for children under the age of five. Well, a House Oversight Committee report reveals that the Small Business Association failed to review loan applications at the start of the pandemic. Anna Warnicki is in Washington with those details. South Carolina Democrat Jim Clyburn says billions in taxpayer dollars was stolen from Americans who needed it the most. Criminals and criminal organizations took advantage of Americans suffering during this crisis. Clyburn says an investigation by the House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Crisis found that hundreds of billions of dollars meant to help small businesses went to criminals instead. The Trump administration contributed to this problem by failing to put basic fraud controls in place. Clyburn says the report shows the company the Trump administration paid millions to review relief applications failed to perform its duties. Louisiana Republican Congressman Steve Scalise defended the Trump administration for reacting quickly to an unprecedented time. Democrats have continued their effort to undermine the PPP's success by attacking the Trump administration and financial institutions involved in the program. In March, the Biden administration appointed Kevin Chambers to direct COVID-19 fraud enforcement. Now he says nearly 1,500 people are facing prosecution. These cases, most of which are still in progress, have involved over $1.1 billion in losses. But Chambers says more needs to be done, and President Biden is asking Congress for additional funding. These resources will speed our data analysis and our identification of fraudulent schemes. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. And coming up, football season is just around the corner and the black and gold are getting ready to hit the field. We'll find out why the first day of minicamp is looking a little bit different this year. That's next in Donation. Well, that's our show for tonight. Thank you for joining us for Fox 44 News at 5.30. I'll be back here tonight at 9 o'clock and hope to see you then. In the meantime, head over to BeOurProud.com for the latest. Cassidy is rallying behind one measure that could impact the state, why he says the bill needs to be passed. And the East Baton Rouge School Superintendent has major plans for one local high school, why he says change is needed. Live, you're watching Fox 44 News at 5.30. Good evening, I'm Kelly Ann Bailey. Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 44 News at 5.30. My co-anchor, Tavarius Haywood, has the night off. One Louisiana U.S. Senator is taking part in a major bipartisan gun safety deal. Senator Bill Cassidy is one of 10 Republican senators who are involved in the framework legislation. Tonight, our Capitol reporter Shannon Hecht explains. Senator Cassidy's tag for the bill has not yet been released, but there is a push to get the bill passed before the July recess. For your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. And Louisiana Republican Congressman Steve Scalise is taking a different route on gun reform. Scalise says he wants to put more money toward hardening schools by hiring resource officers and mental health counselors. Speaker Pelosi's approach has been to make it harder for law-abiding citizens to get guns. The, President Biden even talked about taking handguns away from people, so that's not the answer. The Senate compromise would give states money to pass red flag laws, but with most in the Republican Party following Scalise's line of thinking, those are unlikely to pass here in Louisiana. Well, two of the state's top lawmakers want more time to redraw Louisiana's congressional maps. A federal judge has ordered new maps include a second majority black district and be done by June 20th. A hearing is scheduled Thursday morning. That's where State House Speaker Clay Schneider and Senate President Paige Cortez will speak. The pair are asking for a 10-day extension. 
Well, new tonight, parents and teachers want to know, will a Baton Rouge charter school return to the East Baton Rouge school system? The superintendent says he wants it back, and he has plans to make it a medically focused school. Our Fox 44's Ariel Solk is live at the Louisiana Department of Education, where, Ariel, I understand that they just voted. So what is the latest? That's correct, Kelly.